Hey guys, we got us a no cooling call. I have no idea what the problem is other than she's complaining that it's hot inside. So let's go in and take a look. All right, let me see. Set on 68. Mm -hmm. And it's 88 degrees in here. Obviously, it is not running out here. Contactor's not pulled in. I heard the blower running. Let's see if we got any flashing lights. LED one flashing. Let me see, LED one flash off, high pressure lockout. <clears throat> All right, but condenser fan motor is not turning. I saw it try to start. Let's check this capacitor real quick. Let's see, it's supposed to be a 40 and 5. Let's test them both. Put that on microfarad. Forty. in five. So fairly. The system is fairly known. Why ain't that thing turning? One of my wires goes to power over here. It's got power all the time. Let's try putting power right on the contactor and see what happens. As you see, it fired right up. So let's take our meter and test between these two. It's 
saying there's eight bolts between the two 7.8 that directly one sec I keep sticking my fingers over there and <clears throat> no power see this right here that was just barely on this wire that goes on this bottom that has no shunt is this wire right here that goes to your relay put that on top it can't fall off much tighter now let's see if that fan will come on won't do it Will not do it. All right. I may have that defrost board. I'm interested to see if there's anything behind it. Let me go get the board. In the meantime, we're going to let this run. change this board <laughs> uh, I need one of those little things that somebody else has talked about forgive me I gotta check I think it's a little end of a pin like a big pin to push those in like the weather was listening to us when we said Memorial Day was the kickoff to summer because it got hot all right I can't even see those I'll get them. I'll be right back. All right. This board is still hot with low voltage. So it's going to be easy for me to blow a fuse. I'm going to try not to. these out and I'll bring you right back all right
That was my low pressure switch I just pulled off. This is my high pressure switch. Tell you what, that little resistor right there is smoking hot. This board can still shock me with a low voltage. So I'm trying to be careful. It shocked me when I was undoing those little tabs. I'm sorry if y'all can't see everything. Nope. I got LED lights. Nope, those are test pins. Those hooked up, you know. I gotta remember which one is which. I think that one goes right here. I'm gonna leave this. Yeah, that's this wire right here. I'm gonna leave it on top. I cannot tell if y'all can see or not. I'm leaving this one right here on top. It just went, came off the bottom here. you what I'm reading between yellow and common 28 volts Let's see if we can get the contactor to pull in contactors pulled in you would think I'd be done but a quick check of pressures told me that I have a high head pressure look at the coil and I see why I'll show you in just a looks better
there's one thing I didn't explain on that one, which is one thing I didn't explain, which is kind of important when you're diagnosing a motor that's not running. You got to make sure it's getting voltage. If it's getting the proper voltage and it's one of those motors and the capacitor is good, then most of the time it's time for a new motor. But as you saw on that one, it was not getting the proper voltage, so there was nothing wrong with the motor. Always make sure you got proper voltage. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like these videos, like and subscribe. And I'll catch y'all in the next one.